Kihei, coach has talked a lot about the newness of this group. You've talked about you know breaking in new faces. Where is your confidence level in, in Jaden Gardner right now to to make an important play? Um, I mean, really confident. I mean, I'm confident in all my teammates to make a play. Um, but yeah, I mean, he's a he's a senior, so he's been through the grind. He know he knows what it takes. So um, I have all the confidence in the world in him. And staying on Jaden, that kick, well, first of all, the kick to Tain, was that the plan? Uh, was that the, plot, the play that was drawn up? And then when you see the ball kind of going off of every bit of the rim, what kind of life is Jaden living right now to get that kind of luck? Um, honestly, the Tain shot was not the plan. Um, but hey, he shot it with confidence. Um, but yeah, when yeah, as soon as he shot it and it hit the rim, I thought, I thought it was game. I thought he missed. Um, but hey. Uh, it takes a little bit of luck, right? So, um, no, it was awesome for Jaden to, to hit that shot. I know um, after the Iowa game, we were really on him. Um, so it, it's nice to see him come back and um, have a, a, a game win a shot like that. Yeah, Kia, K- K- when, when you guys fell behind 56-52, what was, what was said at that point? Uh, and did you believe you, you could come back and win there in the final, whatever it was, 10, 10 seconds or so? Yeah, um, that's when we took the ball out underneath, right? Um, yeah, I mean, down four is kind of tough. I mean, it's two possessions at that point. Um, but just run what the coaches say and just try to do the game plan and just try to go through the game. I mean, anything can happen. We've seen it. Um, I've been through them. So, um, yeah, that's just how my mindset was. Exactly. Yeah, you seemed really at ease in the first half offensively, sort of taking what the defense gave you. You had a couple of really nice plays. Was there any sort of adjustment offensively coming into this game, thinking, like, let me try and take a little bit more what the defense has given me? Uh, no, I mean, I haven't been trying to force too much uh, at all. I mean, um, just trying to take, yeah, just take what the defense gives me. Um, I think I passed up a couple open shots in the second half and uh, in the first half. Um, but. Uh, just try to make plays for my teammates and just, uh, yeah, just play the game how, how it comes. It, it's not easy to force a five-second violation anytime, an inbounds violation, but particularly in that situation, is that a scenario you work on in a game, and, and what are you trying to do defensively, just deny your man? or? Yeah, we were honestly just trying to make it hard to get it in and, and foul. Um, yeah, as soon as yeah, five second call. I thought they, I thought they got the timeout off or whatever they called. Um, but yeah, that was yeah. I just thought of Louisville as soon as we, they called the five second call. Yeah, hey, Tony's mentioned a couple times that um, every possession may matter, especially early in the year with with this bunch. That the games are going to be tight. Are you anticipating a lot of nights like this? I mean, however the score ends up, um, games that are just this tight. Yeah. Um, I think we got up. I think we got a little lead, but um, you know we're we're a new group and we're just trying to figure out defensively and we're trying to find our identity defensively. So um, we're gonna make mistakes. Um, and teams are good. I mean, it's college basketball. Anybody can beat anybody. Um, so we just continue the game and just try to build on each game and just try to get better every day. Yeah, just to follow that up, what what can a win like this do for you guys that down down the road? Uh, as you kind of go throughout this season, you play a tight one the other night against Iowa that didn't go your way. Uh, tonight, you guys come out on, on the right end of it. What can it do for you guys going forward? Uh, I mean, you learn from it. Um, we got to learn how to, I mean, maybe not try to hang on to the lead as much, just try to be assertive. Um, down the stretch, I thought we caught, try to hang on to the lead and we were kind of passive. Um, but then we just, when you're down four um, with that amount of time, just it'll, uh, it'll help down the stretch for sure when you get into close games. Um, so when what do you, I saw Reese make threes in pregame. He's hitting them comfortably, confident. Obviously struggled a little bit today. How much does it help that he's also doing the things like dishing assists and coming up with steals and playing the defense he does? But what do you, what's the message to him um, in those situations? You know, we, we saw him pass up a couple open looks today too. Um, no, I mean, we have all the confidence in the world in him. We know he puts in the work. Um, so just try to stay in his ear um, and encourage him. Um, I mean, he knows he can he can make the shots. He puts in the work. Um, but yeah, everybody's gonna struggle, so we just try to pick each other up after um, a, a game like that. Jaden, um, just walk us through the, the game winner, and um, you know, how did you see it coming off the rim, and what were your thoughts in terms of stepping back as opposed to maybe going in, or what, what were you thinking there? Um, 
Yeah, so Tane, I thought Tane took a great shot um, out of the bounds, take a quick shot as fast as we can. Tane, not Tane, uh, Caden really crashed the boards really hard, made, made, made me able to get the ball, um, stole it from the guy, and just had to take a shot. So I shoot a lot of fadeaways in practice, so none, none of them was like that, though. So. When you guys fell behind 56-52, were you thinking uh, a comeback there in the final, whatever it was, 10 seconds or so was, was possible? Um, Kia was just getting us together, telling us to stay in it. And that's what we did. And just we, we willed it. We willed it out. Jaden, Coach has said a few times that you know, with the newness of this team and kind of finding yourselves, there might be some tight games. Every possession is going to matter. Are you anticipating that this is what ACC play is going to be like? <laughs> Um, ACC play. I mean, after my first game, it just I just know it's a, it's a prestigious league. Every team can play. As we've seen that, there's no the basketball hierarchy in college basketball right now. It's just up and down. Anybody can play. So just got to come prepared every game. You had uh, a couple defensive lapses in the Iowa game and, and ended up didn't not playing in the final minutes. What what was practice like the last couple of days coming off of that? And is that just part of kind of the growing process here, learning a new system? Yes, yeah, it's, it's part of the learning process. Uh, TB challenged me the last two days, um, and I responded. Um, so we got after it on the defensive end. And just, I mean, it's a work in progress. I'm new here. It's my first year. But um, things to work on, I'm going to keep getting better every single time. We practice, play, play in the games. Do you like those high stretch, stress moments, like taking that free throw, now down two, taking that shot? But also, where do you think you've grown the most just in these the beginning part of this season from when you first stepped on the court against Navy to where you were tonight? Uh, just staying composed, making right reads, uh, start out the game, just setting on my teammates, getting them going, um, and just letting the game come to me. As you know, you're playing against high-level competition, so you can't force it all the time. Damon. You were talking about it being a learning experience, the Iowa game. How much, not just yourself, but as a group with so many new guys on this team, what, what's it been like over the course of the last month of just figuring out the expectations for the program and what the coaches expect from you guys and just you know coming together as a group? Yeah, it, I mean, it takes time because we have a lot of new pieces, a lot of new parts, guys playing different positions, uh, roles. So it's all about chemistry and you want to be playing your best basketball come March. So we're going to keep building and keep getting better day by day. You had four assists on, the, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you had four assists on the night. You were getting pretty quick doubles when they threw the ball in, uh, into the post. What was your sort of mindset as you know when Pitt tried to take away your post game and, and sort of see what else you could do for the team offensively? Be a playmaker. Um, I'm an unselfish guy, and getting guys great looks, making sure they have great passes, and they may be able to knock down shots. Poppy had a great, uh, great little uh, flash, and I was able to hit him. Guys, Cody. We, you know, hit some great shots. Mine came off a pin down. So just set my teammates up, get them going. It's going to get me more chances to create for myself.